This video is about taking a LX200, about a 35 year old heavy duty mount, and converting it for a CEM60 Ioptron. Um, the Ioptron has these two mounting bolts, and then it needs a central pivot post in order to uh, to polar align and, and not kind of slide around, you know, kind of willy nilly all over this surface here. So, um, and I found that out the other night when I was trying to polar align it with uh, my pole master. But anyway, uh, the first thing I had to do was take these uh, quarter 20 holes and I basically just reamed them or uh, chased them with a, a, an 8M thread. I think it was 8M, yeah. Anyway, uh, that followed the followed the threads really closely and these things are holding real good so I just went ahead and, and did that to all of these and so now any eight you know I can put it anywhere along here and any of these eight millimeters will fit um, so you'll see that the old LX200 parts there's uh, that spider which I still need to use to stiffen this up because it doesn't have you know that kind of new design thing that is stiffer up here than the old, uh, the old kind like this. And then there's a shaft that went with the old LX200, and usually this would come out and get stored away with the uh, tighteners. So anyway, what happens is uh, this guy um, gets bolted up in there real nice and tight with a uh, bolt that used to be part of that assembly and what I did here is I took a uh, half inch stainless steel bolt and put it on the shaft and basically <laughs> accidentally kind of shrunk fit the thing on because when it heated up when I was grinding it down it decided to just not move so I mean I can't I can't get it off Luckily, I had about an inch of shaft left on the thing, and basically uh, that was kind of a happy mistake because that's exactly, almost exactly the size I needed to, to make that pin uh, fit up into my Ioptron, which it pivots around when you, when you polar align. And then it has the two screws that push against these to, to move it, uh, you know, move it like this. If without this in here, the whole thing just kind of floats around and, and it's hard to pull over a line. Now, uh, with a little shaving down with my grinder, the threads are still on there a little bit, but they fit in the hole. So I think that'll work. And with my grinder and a little bit of uh, help from my spare parts box, I found a little brass tube that I set as a spacer. So this is just below the surface and it won't interfere with the uh, the, the bottom of the mount. So it has to be uh, below flush on this just a little bit. And so that's it. Um, now I just put this just put this old spider up on here and get my uh, big knob and tighten it up. And it's now a, a nice converted CEM60 mount. And I've already, uh, you know, had the thing on there, and it's very stable, and it's really nice. I don't really need to buy a new one. Uh, I was going to go blow 600 bucks on the, the uh, pier stand, but now that I've got this thing, I think I'll just uh, save that money and put it down on a, another telescope or something. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching.